All right, careful about going to the mailbox. You might not be happy about what you find. I'm just trying to help you out, all right? Because after a two-year hiatus on automated collection notices, the IRS has resumed sending such letters. Yeah, the nasty grams. In February of 22, the agency suspended automated collection notices to devote resources to its backlog of unprocessed correspondence returns. But starting next month, notices will be back, and the IRS will send a special reminding letter covering taxpayers' liability, ways to pay off the balance, and possible penalty relief. But is this simply a bait and switch on the part of the IRS? Typically, CP14 is the first IRS notice for an unpaid tax balance, followed by three or four reminder letters, you know, nasty grams every few weeks. It's possible many taxpayers only received that first letter before the IRS paused the automation. Understanding the impact of this renewed commitment to tax collection on taxpayers, Tax Network USA is committed to ease the burden of these missives on Americans. The leading tax consulting firm is poised to help clients handle their IRS and state tax issues effortlessly by offering invaluable support and protection in resolving and reducing client IRS tax issues. We just so happen to have the Vice President of Tax Network USA here to help us today to help clear up some of the confusion, if you have some, and maybe save some money. Joshua Hanna with me. Josh, good to have you. Thanks for having me, Steve. All right, so these letters, these nasty grams. Trust me, when you open your mailbox and you see a letter from the IRS and it's not a happy letter, that's like a terrible day. That's had just like the worst day possible, isn't it? Yeah, and they're really trying to get their return on investment after hiring tens of thousands of IRS agents. Um, this, is, this is something they've been anticipating for the last year. They've built the infrastructure for the collections process, and they're really picking up from where they left off. So what kind of letters, I mean, what kind of amounts are we talking about? Are they, do they send a letter for $100? Do they send a letter for 1000 uh, 10,000, 100,000, what kind of things do you see these these letters, what do they relate to cost-wise, generally? Well, it's the IRS. If you owe them one cent, they're going to let you know. <laughs> so uh, if you owe yeah. $10,000 or more, uh, you're going to want to exercise your rights in the process, especially if you have unfiled returns. You know, the IRS takes that very seriously. They'll even apply forced compliance where they file for you. And you forced compliance? They're going to hit you at the tell, tell, what, tell me about what is that? What is forced compliance? What do you mean they file for me? I don't want them to touch anything of mine. I don't even want to talk to these people. In fact, uh, when I went through something like this a few years ago, uh, my CPA said, yeah, you won't be talking to the agent. I'll talk to the agent, which he did, by the way. And I think that's where you come in, the same sort of a role. You talk to the IRS. You insulate the client. Make sure that they don't get, you know, testy, if you will, with an IRS agent, which never goes well, right? Never goes well. Every time you call the IRS, uh, they view it as if you are waiving your rights to speak to them. They are your accuser. Um, and you need to handle it that way. It's a legal issue at this point if you have a balance in collection. And the forced compliance, just to touch on that, is basically the IRS understands what's been reported, so they'll file uh, basically a tax return prepared by their agents uh, at the highest tax rate, no deductions. I call it junk tax. Basically, they throw whatever they can at the wall and see it just to see what sticks. Uh, and that's where we come in uh, and file a perfect tax return, uh, you know, by law. Uh, whatever is required, and uh, get the balance down tremendously. But you really want to avoid that uh, before it happens. Uh, they're not hiring 20,000 agents for nothing. They are going to assess these balance, balances like never before. Yeah, and, and let's be clear about this, Joshua. They're not your buddy. They might try to act like they're your friend and, hey, we're, let's get this figured out. They are not your buddy. They're not your friend. They're not there. They're there to collect money as much as they possibly can. That's the job that they're doing, isn't it? They'll use any tactic they can uh, to, to collect the funds that they believe that, they're, that, are, that is theirs. Um, and if they have to take a friendly approach, they definitely will. If they have to take a fear approach, uh, they'll handle it accordingly. You've got to remember, if they don't get the results that they want, and you don't have a tax professional or an attorney representing you, they will seize your property, your assets, your IRA, retirement accounts, uh, you name it, anything they believe has value to them.
They'll take it all. They'll clean you out. They don't care. And they won't say thank you. And they won't say please either. Joshua, tell folks how they find you if they've got an issue and they get one of these letters in the mail. And they're like, what do I do now? You get an advocate is what you do. Get somebody on your team. Don't talk to that IRS agent. Trust me, my, my CPA, my accountant said no. Uh, I might be a little bit hostile sometimes towards folks. But yeah, it's absolutely not going to happen. So anyhow, uh, how do they get a hold of you, Josh? Absolutely. They visit TNUSA.com uh, if they'd like to schedule an appointment. But they can always call us at the number below, 800-546-1000. Uh, and basically what they get is a private conversation with a tax professional uh, that will step them through the process and understanding uh, scope, nature, and magnitude of their tax problem and how to address it before we get on the line with the IRS, okay? And yeah. not only do we have tax accountants, we have licensed enrolled agents and tax attorneys. So we're fully equipped uh, to handle any type of tax issue. There you have it. Joshua Hanna, greatly appreciate you being here at TNUSA.com, TNUSA.com, or uh, the number that he just rattled off there, 1-800-546-1000, 1-800-546-1000. Joshua, thank you for being here. Thank you so much, Steve. Greatly appreciate it. After the break, something that reminds you of just how wonderful America still is, plus your answers to our America's Voice question of the day. What can be done to combat the globalists at the World Economic Forum? I've got my answer. We'll check out yours after the break.